what do we want to call this? An epic, epic uh, Hot Wheels showcase. Ooh, wrong angle on that one. Trying to keep the glare at a minimum. I'll block it with myself. As people come and join here on their Sunday evening, I have been meaning to do this. I thought I might as well make a video out of it. I almost didn't. I wanted to go ahead and showcase the latest, and I mean latest, like update of the Zamax and the Hot Wheels Red Editions from Target. Store exclusives that we need to go over, we need to showcase. Um, I just need to get them into the collection. So. If you're not familiar with what I'm with, what is here um, in front of you, I've got my creative option cases here, and this one and the two cases behind us are all uh, Zamac exclusives, and then this one right here is Target Red Editions, and they're pretty full. In fact, we only have three more slots for the Red Editions, and I got to move to a new case. And here's what I like about these. These are all store exclusives. They release 12 Red Editions a year and I 18 Walmart Zamax a year. They are obviously exclusive to those stores. It's every other mix for, uh, the, tar or for the Walmart cars and it's every third mix, I think, for the, for the Target cars. And um, what they do is they take a deco from that year, from a release that year, and they just change it. So in this case, Zamax means the cars are essentially raw, they're unpainted. The same deco from that year's release is there, is on there, but done in a different color. We'll get to that. And then with the red editions, it's some sort of variant on red, white, or black. And you'll see that. Um, that the, and I don't have the originals here to look at. But, um, but I just decided it'd be fun to collect all of the Zamax and all of the red editions because it gives us a kind of a, cr kind of a cool cross-section of many of the castings I do collect, like the R34 here and many castings I don't, like the uh, Purple Passion or whatever that is, a um, bunch of other castings. So it gives me a chance to have at least one example of a lot of the castings I don't collect, and they're really fun to look at together. So let's do the red editions first. I'm not bringing out the turntable this time. I'm just going to, because um, I want, in fact, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna move these off to the side because I wanna give you a, a full, angle on these let me we're live so that's how we're gonna do it make decisions as we go obviously there's a good chance you're gonna see me in the glare I hope I'm well dressed today um, so here are the Zamax I'm gonna bring out my pointer and I can actually if I do this or not Zamax these are the target red editions Aha, how about that now you can really see them I don't want to go through all of them, and then we're going to add, I have six more to add, the final three of 2020, and then the first three of 2021. So you can see, I mean, obviously, red and white is the theme here. I think and we, we get some black versions on the other side, or at least we'll open some up, but they tend to come in either a bright red, like this Firebird here, or this kind of metallic red, like this guy right here, the Corvette, or white like the Challenger or the 55 Bel Air or something else. Obviously this one, I think of all the, watch this thing drop, but of all of the uh, Target Red editions, this is probably the most valuable is the 55 Bel Air, which makes a lot of sense. And I would say the cool combi, remember this one, this was originally released in black, um, is another version or another popular one. I think relevant to this one is this particular model. This is a red edition, I believe, of a silver Acura NSX, but it's done just in plain red. And this is Rio Asada's design, right? So it's actually kind of a variation of his car. In fact, at the end of this, I'm gonna open up some Kroger exclusives. And this was a Kroger exclusive in white of Rio's car. And there was Japanese nostalgic car just today did a special, um, did a special fundraiser for a uh, cancer charity in Rio's name. It was, a, it was a little uh, road, kind of a road cruise kind of thing that they did. I wish I could have been there. It was in L.A. And um, this logo, Rio's logo here, was on. Was The sticker was given out to all the participants. There's still, if you go to Japanese Nostalgic Car, you can learn how there's ways to actually donate. And I think, I don't know, you might be able to get a sticker. Um, they've done a plain white one. This one's kind of cool. The Mercedes AMG. 
I'm looking at your comments. See if there's any others that, I mean, we'll get to this. I don't want this video to go too long, but um, those are some of them. I think you can see a lot of them. There's just, there's a lot of really cool ones in that. I think the Dotson's another one that's cool. Here's the other one, the other side, and then we'll update these, make sure these don't fall. But yeah, so now we saw that a little bit later on, they introduced some black into the mix, like the Momo uh, Golf. You see a Lamborghini. This one, is it this Corvette that came in that metallic red that people thought it was kind of a chase when it just was a painting error? This one, this Aston Martin, I think is kind of cool. Originally Reese Wetton white, I believe, and they did this red edition. But you can see, as you look at these cars, you can kind of get a sense of like why I like to collect them because so many of these castings, I mean, of all of these, the ca there's only, let's see, the... There's only one casting here that I collect, at least on this side, that I'm a completist on. It's the Porsche 918. That's it. Not even that one, which is a cool, uh, this truck. These are all really cool, but it's like, I have some versions of it, but, uh, you know. Anyway, three, the final three of 2020, I need to get in there. Here's number 10. You can see they're number 10 of 12. They say red edition on the side. Got the Mustang. We have the Sand Blaster, which I don't even know if it'll even fit in there. We'll see. So you can see that's number 11 of 12. And the Mazda Miata. And look at this one. This one's awesome. Plain white. This is another Rio Asada design with the red wheels. These came out, I mean, last year, I think. It's been a long time. Here, actually, I'll open this one up first. So I, you can see I have a lot of catching up to do. So there's the Mustang. It has, the, uh, has that uh, chin spoiler that is adjustable. Here's the sand blaster. It's not going to fit. So I'm going to have to, and I have to start a new case anyway. So what will happen, these are usually in order, but occasionally for the cars that I think are better on this little double thing where there's not a wall. So I'll put this one over there. So I'm going to actually put it down below here. And then the Mazda Miata here. Right there. So that Mazda Miata, actually, that joins my collection of favorites easily because that is one that I will collect all of because I think it's a really, really cool casting. So, yeah, Sam Blaster, we'd love to put you in there. Alas, it ain't going to happen. So we'll, uh, we'll move it there. Now that, it's actually quite nice. It's actually kind of annoying that I don't get the Sam Blaster in there because that really completes actually the first, what, few years of the red editions. I'm going to move this off to the side. Well, no, we'll keep it up for just a second while I open the first three of 2021. So there's number one of 12, red edition. It's the Toyota off-road truck. Triumph TR6 in black with red trim. And then how about, how cool is that one? Another Uno car, red edition, the 32 Ford in the Uno Deco. So let's just open these up real quick. I don't have, I'm going to have to find a new spot for them. I have to open up a new, or start a new case. There's the Toyota. Am I going to be get the Dollar General exclusive Ford Raptor? I don't know. Not entirely sure if I'm going to be getting that. I know I'm going to get the Dollar General cars. I definitely want that Prelude. Um, but I don't know. Okay, t Triumph. I'm a handsome man for my reflection. <laughs> there you go. Black Triumph. This is a cool, kind of an underrated casting, the Triumph. No windshield. Looks kind of cool. Someone asked about the cases. Yes, if you look up in, on Amazon or other, or Joanne, Creative Options Thread Organizer, you will, you will find them. Here's the 32 Ford. I love what they did with the wheels on this one. They use those uh, classic, cool classics, whatever they call them. Um, wheels here made in black with the, with the white trim. Someone said these have been hard to find. Are you talking about the, these uh, Target Red editions? 
I, I, I don't know if these partic- these three are particularly hard to find because they weren't like crazy desirable, but um, I don't know. Maybe they were. All right. So I'm going to move these just over here. You can't even see me. And let's... Uh, hi, guys. Um, let's put, let's uh, retire these and let's go with the Zamax. Let's see, case one, case two, case three. And if you're not familiar with all of the Zamax, you're going to enjoy this because there are, when I talk about a cross section of cool castings, wait till you see all of these. Okay, I gotta move, I'm going to move these target ones because I'm afraid I'm going to knock them over. So. All right. Let's work through these real quickly. So this is my first case. These go, these date back all the way to 2013. So the first three were right here. I'm not gonna, like I said, this could go on forever if we tried to go through all of them. But you're gonna see some cool stuff here. I mean, they date back all the way to before we, before Hot Wheels even lost the Ferrari license. Check that out. Plain Zamac Ferrari. Was that the F12 Berlinetta? Yeah. Totally plain just with the front and rear deco. Or actually just the front deco. This is a highly desirable one. R34 Skyline. Seen some comments. Yeah, the Ferrari is awesome. Datsun 240Z. This one came with several variations. The Toyo tires on the hood came in either... Or is it the Toyota tires or one of the other logos here came in either red or blue. The red was more rare. There was some that had the spoiler painted blue and others that didn't. So there were a bunch of those, or there was a bunch of variations on that one. Those are just some of them. Toyota A86. What is that? The No, or what do they call that one? It's the Brazilian, almost like the Brazilian Nova SS, I think it was called. So those are the first, what, 24? Here's the next 24, and you'll see some other highly desirables here, too. Like the Hakoska Skyline right here. Don't really like the color of the interior on this one, but it's a cool car. This one had a roll cage. comes with a roll cage and without. I actually have the one with the roll cage, and it's with my Hot Wheels Hakoska collection. I actually showed some of those that I collect all the castings of that Datsun 240 and the Ferrari from the other side are definitely on the list. Um, the Hakoska is on the list. The Chevelle, there's a Moon Eyes. The um, Moon Eyes VW is kind of cool. I collect all of the Moon Eyes cars. I think this is one of a couple Moon Eyes cars. I think that's it. Oh, the Civic. All the Civics I collect too. So that Civic is pretty pretty sought after too. I've seen this one go for what, 20, 30 bucks. I collect this Porsche too. So I'm, so there's a few there. And sometimes you like the deco, sometimes you don't. So there's the first group. Let's go with the second group over here. I can't, oh, is this, let's see. Yeah, I think this is, I think I've got this in the correct order. If I don't, I apologize. But yeah, there's some, okay, so there's some cool ones here. Check some of these out. Like there's, oops, almost knocked them all over. This one's clearly on the highly desired list. Which is kind of cool. The gasser, kind of goofy pink windows on that one. Um... The Ford Fiesta is kind of cool. Greenwood Corvette is a casting that I collect all of. Obviously, the Gasser I do too. Porsche Carrera. Seeing Lena talk about the 22B, we'll definitely get to that one. You can see it right there, right? Bugatti above that. Here's a casting I collect all of. Ford Torino. Pretty sweet. BMW 2002. I have all the versions, you see the Mini. I mean, you can just see, it just goes on and on and on. The Chevy there, we saw that as a, 
Obviously, this one is a red edition. We've seen this one is a red edition. Charger's cool. Ford GT and Golf. So there's a Zamac Golf. And these three down here are really cool. Well, the, this one, the Tesla's awesome. I don't like the chin on the Tesla, of course, but that's a cool one is the Zamac Tesla. And then this one, this one, honestly, may be the best Zamac they ever did. Because if you look at it closely, it looks like just a Zamac Batmobile, right? Which is cool enough with the bat sign. But if you look really close, you can see the ghost flames on it. This was the same year that the TV Batmobile was a super treasure hunt and they did those ghost flames. You see that? Or on the side too. And I've said, I've told this story before. I actually, at the time, met with the VP of wheels for Hot Wheels. He happened to be in Moab cycling. I was there too. And we had dinner together and he said that his favorite Hot Wheels of that year was this guy, was the ghost flame Zamac Batmobile. All right. Next set. I think, I mean, if I'm, I might, these might have come before though, that set, but I don't think so. I think I'm in order here. I think I'm in correct order. How about the uh, Coney Ford Focus, the Castrol BMW? How about that? That one's up there as a, as a classic for me, as a must have. That's a casting I collect all of. We need to see more versions of that one. There's your Acura Integra. How about this, the Porsche 993, totally plain with gold rims. Headlights, no tail lights, nothing, just the Porsche emblem on the front. Someone says Lamborghini. I don't see the Lamborghini in this one. Is there a Lamborghini? I know there's one in the last one. Um, this one's obviously highly sought after, the Datsun Wagon, JNC Surf Patrol, Zamac Wagon. I actually had someone find that for me. So was this one, the 67 Camaro, the same year. This one was a super treasure hunt. Remember this one was in red? So they did the Zamac version. Um, here's another plain Porsche. GT3 RS, right? Check that out. Super, super cool. And another Porsche Zamac. Oops. 934. Matchbox Man says the plane cars are always welcome. I totally agree with you. When they do these plane Zamacs, I'm just, I'm all for them. I think one of the most underrated Zamacs is this one, the 32 Ford right here. We've talked a lot about the 32 Ford lately. Check that out. Just in just plain Zamac with the black rims and the black flames. So this is up there with the Batmobile is one that I think is just one of the best looking Zamax that they've ever done. All right, we done there? Yeah. And let's move on to our final case. You can see I'm almost done with, the, with this case too. Okay, let's open this up. Again, just a wide variety of stuff. Dotson 620, the same year that this one was a super treasure hunt. Remember, that one was hard to find, and then all of a sudden I went, went into a store months and months later and found a ton of them. Your second Golf Zamac, same year that that was a tre super treasure hunt. Sometimes there's a theme there. McLaren, there's a better McLaren, we'll get to that. Um, how about this is uh, the uh, Kaido House Z? Where is that? I don't remember. I know it says Kaido on the side. It came in blue, right? And then uh, Nissan Skyline R33. Nice looking one. Ford truck is nice looking. Here's one that's really popular, is the Dodge Demon. Plain Zamac. So it just has that Hellcat symbol on the side, nothing on the front, tail lights on the back. Matthew says, the only Zamac I have, I don't know which one you're talking about, but uh, yeah. If you're a completist but don't collect the Zamax, then you, you're gonna have to get some, right? There's your second Moon Eyes. Isn't that one awesome? The disc wheels on it. The VW. Moon on the tail, too. Let's get that in focus. Oh, 
It is, this is the demon, right? It has the Hellcat symbol on it, but it's a demon. All right, um, Land Rover I think is nice. R30 Skyline, looking good. I actually found this one when I, I, I came across this batch. I remember looking for it and I found this mix and I found three super treasure hunts. It was a Mustang, like the 92 Mustang. And I found a bunch of these, including one that had no tempo on the side, which was cool. Still have that one carded. Chevy Love, RX-7, VW. And then coming to the other side. These are the latest. You see how many are done? It's quite a few. All right, let's open these up. Got a few plain ones here. Like this McLaren 720S plane. Oh, you managed to try to tell them it's a demon logo. Maybe it is. Sorry, guys. Didn't see that comment. I'll make mistakes. Part of it is because I'm blind. But I have glasses on now. So the McLaren is playing. The Audi is playing. Just front grille. That was a first edition. So is this Acura. Look at that one. Pretty sweet. Another Porsche. Got a lot of cool Porsches Amex in this set. What else do we want to see? Obviously, people want to see these. I guess you'd consider this one plain just because it has the red stripe on it. The Bugatti. Another one that was incredibly hard to find. Friend found one for me, so I was happy to have one in the collection. Mattel sent me one too, so I have one in my I have one in my Zamet collection and one in my Bugatti collection because I'm a completist of this casting. And then one day I walked into a real Walmart and there was like six or seven just waiting there in a big bin, all beat up. No one wanted them. So I bought them. Um, another plain one is the Honda Civic Type R. Just got the taillights and the headlights. Sorry, bumped my camera. Dodge and then police. All right, we got to update it. All right, so. We have three others that I haven't done yet from 2020, including, I've mentioned there's a better McLaren, so we're gonna get to that. You'll laugh at what I'm gonna open up. I had never found these in store. I've heard some people have found them lately, but this is all I got are those out of the factory sealed set that Mattel sent me. And I figured this is best use for them. They sent them to me so I'd have these models to showcase. So that's what I'm gonna do. So we're just gonna open them out of the, out of the sealed set. So number nine, oh, the, those numbers are not correct. These are, it's actually the Zamac number. So that's 18, 16, 17 is the Mustang. All right, so let's start with the Mustang. So this is the 69 Ford Mustang Boss 302. I'd love to have another one because I'm a completist of this collection. Now, obviously I have one in the collection, so it's not a big deal, but you know how nerdy we get. Neighbors are having some fun. Um, I'd love to have one just in the Zamat collection and another one in the uh, in my Mustang collection. So there it is. You got the. I don't know if people noticed that. Sorry, kids are really screaming. Two sisters and they're just enjoying each other's company. Um, so that one is really cool. That one's number seventeen, right? Number sixteen is the Hudson Hornet. Open your crap already. Okay, Diego. Man, some of you viewers, just watch it later and fast forward. Hudson is eh. I don't know. I think it's awesome. I, I mean, look. It's so great to have a Zamac version of this one. How cool is that? Sideways Optimus. He's telling us what those Zamacs are for 2021. I think he's talking about these. We'll get to those. Um, and then this one, check this one out, the McLaren Senna. What kind of turntable do I use to display my cars? Well, the one I've been using that has the Lamley logo on it, that is from Mini GT. And um, this is sweet. I want another one of these for the McLaren collection. There you can see where Rio changed the uh, headlights. You can get a good sense of how he changed them to just be a little bit, bit more definable because they're not going to get the tampo treatment that often. I think they only got once, right, on the uh, 
on the Hot Wheels ID version, and it'll be on that new version that's in the Exotics Car Culture version. But this one in raw is so cool, and it's another plain McLaren, so that one goes in right there. Totally done. We're going to leave that open, and we're going to open up the first six. One is the A86 Sprint to Torino, Falcon livery. Two is the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster. And the third is the Surf and Turf. We'll start with that one. Again, I need to start another case for these two, so I have no place to put them yet, but I will. There's your Surf and Turf. Not a casting I'm really into. I think this is a Larry Wood casting, but not my, not my cup of tea. Here's your Corvette Grand Sport Roadster. Is this one a super treasure hunt too? Is this the one? I think it is, right? Is it the same one, that blue one? Looks cool in Zamek. I think we've had this one as a Zamek before. Did we see that one earlier? I'd have to go back and look. Put that on, you can't see it, but this one's fantastic. Falcon livery, I think this is the first Falcon Zamek. So we've seen this one started in what, blue? And then this one, and then there's a black recolor. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. All right, next three, and then we'll have some more coming out very soon. Ford GT40, this is from the then and now, right? It was white, I think there's a recolor. Subaru WRX STI, yellow is the first color, and then the 91 GMC Cyclone that was, I think, blue. So that's number four, let's open that up. I wonder if they'll do the a Zamek of the 2017 Ford GT. I have no idea. Yes, Tim is like, we've had that Corvette Roadster as a Super twice. That's true, huh? So this is Gumball 3000, which is cool. Oh, I never showed. I was talking about the plain ones. I never showed this one, right? It's one of the best Zamaks ever. Should have shown that one. Sorry, guys. 22B from last year. Here's another WRX. STI logos on the side. I'm losing my voice. And the GMC Cyclone. I did a live feed on Instagram today too, so I've used my voice quite a bit. Cyclone's pretty cool. Looks better than the, uh, I mean, I like the version last year, the red and the black. That blue one doesn't, it has the stripe on it. I like this one better, makes more sense. Do I keep all the cards? I actually put them aside in case anybody wants them for mail-ins and stuff. So I usually give them to local friends who want them. All right, so those Zamex I'm gonna have to put off to the side. I'll finish off by just opening up this quick set of, I don't c collect all of the Kroger exclusives, but all these castings are awesome. And I have not opened these yet, so I'm gonna do it. These are same thing. It's like they're decos from um, from the year, this is 2020, just done un in unique colors for Kroger. There's another set of Kroger coming out, including Nissan GTR and stuff, but these were the last set of 2020, and there's mail-ins and all that kind of thing. But I haven't opened these yet. I don't really collect the, I collect them if they are castings I collect, but I don't collect them just for, like I do the Zamex and the red editions, because they just don't look as cool together. They're just, they're just unique colors, just like any other color, so. So I like them like that. So there's the, your Camaro. I think it was what a first version was. Um, I don't remember. Uh, Batmobile. This was a Hot Wheels ID version as well. This brown color was that Camaro. Kind of a cool color on this one. Kind of a satin maroon. Stripes on the top there. That one will go in with, I don't have all the Batmobiles. There it is, that cool Rio tribute car, which I think takes on obviously new meaning. His car was red and he put this deco on it, but then they did this recolor for Kroger. So it's a unique car, definitely one I will add to the collection for sure. Looks so cool. And then finally, just because everyone loves this one, it's the Datsun 510 wagon. Everyone was after this one. I found a ton of them, left a ton of them, but did buy a few. JNC logo, Momo logo. What was it? First one was red. 
Was this the only other recolor or were there two versions? I don't remember. Maybe black, red and black? Do I have that right? So that one, obviously, a lot of people are after. But that was, you know, months and months and months ago. But I haven't opened them. There you go, guys. Oh, one more. Do you guys know the other store besides Dollar General that does exclusives? Let's see if anyone can guess. Well, I'm getting ready to put some of these away. In fact, I have a case here, so I'm going to... Well, I'm going to see. Okay, GameStop, good question. Kmart, no more. Kroger, we already did the Kroger's. I'm going to use this case that I have here. Um, GameStop, GameStop's a good one. I haven't done, I need actually need those GameStop exclusives. I have not gotten them yet. I need to find those. But nope. I haven't seen AutoZone. No, there is. Big Ace is Walgreens. That's the other one I was talking about. I have Walgreens does one exclusive a year. Did you know that? And so let me just put these in here. I have the Walgreens I need to open, and it's actually a model I collect. So this is from last year as well. 64 Nova Wagon Gasser. And there it is from the Gasser's collection. I think they did two colors of this one, including this recolor from Walgreens. There's nothing about it that says it's from Walgreens, but it is a Walgreens exclusive. Ooh, that's cool. I didn't even notice it's kind of a satin blue color. Hey, nitrous. TN Neal 629. That new Dotson Super is selling for around 200 eBay right now. Well... This one here, well, I'm going to open mine. That Mattel scent. There, we'll put that in there. It's the Dotson Wagon Super you want, right? I have a few of those. All right, guys. Oh, my voice is tired. Garage setting is going to close it down. I'm going to relax a little bit. I already had dinner with the family, which was great. I got to distribute these exclusives off into new cases. But that is all of the Xamax, all of the red editions. That's an epic 30-minute live feed. And I can see myself in those cases. So, all right, green. Uh, no, I'm sorry, um, Auto World tomorrow, and then we've got. Uh, here, I'm going to put this in here too. So, Auto World tomorrow, and then um, J Case unboxing on Tuesday, and more took a matchbox mix four i think on wednesday or thursday depending i got so much to get to so all right guys i am heading out of here thanks for watching come back and watch it later if you want to see all those mini gt as soon as i get them abby as soon as they arrive i will do those as well so everything's on the docket when i can get to them i will do them thanks everyone have a wonderful sunday evening bye